I'm really ready for this. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're here in Lake called Čierna Voda in Slovakia. We have a little storm coming from that direction and also one coming from there but it seems like they're gonna just go around and we're not gonna be bothered by them. So what we're gonna do right now is suit up. This is supposed to be diving paradise. So we're gonna go underwater and see how fresh water in Slovakia looks like. So as I've promised you in my last vlog today, I will be showing you some native species of freshwater fish that we can find in majority of European lakes. The reason why I've chosen this particular lake is how clear the water is over here. It's absolutely mind-blowing and it really cannot get any better in freshwater lake. This lake is also fairly deep and the deepest point is approximately 35 meters below the water surface. However, today I'll only be diving down approximately 4 to 5 meters. My main goal for today is to get some beautiful footage of carps and grass carps, which are very common in these waters, and maybe I'll come across some breams or roaches, maybe some perch, and with a bit of luck we may come across some pike or zander. It didn't take long and in shallow water I came across our first species of the day. European perch can be usually found in Europe and Asia and this species is typically greenish in color with dark vertical bars on its sides and with red or orange coloring in the tips of its fins. If we would take a closer look to perch from this particular lake, it is really interesting to observe how pale the coloration of these fish actually is. This is caused by the ability of the fish to compress its pigment cells called chromatophores into minimum and that way camouflage with the background. If we would catch this same fish in a muddy murky lake it would have much more deeper black stripes and also much more enhanced orange coloration in the fins. Finding common carps and grass carps was also much easier than I've expected. Common carps are those chunky fish in front and grass carps those little bit thinner fish in background. I'm 100% sure that people are feeding them over there because they were not scared at me at all and it was really great experience being there. After that I've decided that I also want to record some carps in deeper water and what I found when I was following one of them I didn't expect at all. What in my eyes seemed to be some very interesting weird structure turned out to be old plain at the bottom of the lake. The plain was in a depth of 4.5 meters and it seemed as a perfect cover for many freshwater species of fish and therefore I've decided to explore it a little bit more. It was most likely placed here for purposes of training the scuba divers, however it was super interesting and it seemed like there was a lot of fish around it. The more I was diving down there the more fish I've seen and therefore I've decided to place my GoPros there for a little longer time and I was hoping for some beautiful footage. It nearly ended up as a catastrophe when one of my GoPros fell over and got covered by sand and I've spent 15 minutes searching for it, but I think it was definitely worth it.
You see guys, I'm stepping up my YouTube game. I have my personal pilot. <laughs> oh. What do you call this place? Chirna Voda. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna write that to anyone. Yeah, Chirna Voda Aquarea. That's how it's... I'm at a lake with a plane in it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so right now Patrick is going to go swim for that plane and he's going to catch this. Okay guys, this is probably the last dive because even though we have beautiful sunshine over there, we have quite a big thunderstorm coming from that direction. So let's get down there for the last time. So unfortunately, despite my efforts, I was not able to record the queen of our lake spike, but maybe I'll be able to come back here at some point and try to record it again. However, I was able to record behavior that I have not seen before. Sand lake is the last rain of fish that we've encountered today and their behavior was for me very surprising because I have never seen them swimming underwater before recording this video. The only way I've seen them before was when I catch them as a bait for a pike. Sambleek is fairly small fish that grows up to 10 cm, what is approximately 3.9 inches, and we can find it in the entire continental Europe and also in Central Asia. The behavior that was very interesting for me was that these fish only appeared in my camera shots when the water was scattered. And as during the hot summer days there are hundreds of people swimming in these waters, this is actually a pretty cool and very sophisticated way of feeding. By swimming and walking, people actually scatter the water and all the potential food that is in the substrate is steered up for these fish. They're basically leaving all the hard work to be done by us and then they're just coming for easy feeding time. Thank you very much guys for watching, it was absolutely amazing experience swimming in these waters. Usually we're seeking for salt water to go dive in and sometimes we forget how beautiful can fresh water actually be. This particular lake is super clear and bright blue and it was really really great experience swimming in it. If you've enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing, it's absolutely free and I really appreciate every single one of my subscribers. So one more time guys, thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you in that next video.